Hello everyone, Black Orca so here, and bringing you a interesting weird game I just found on Steam. Um, this is a free game. It's called Ultimate Tic Tac Toe. Now, I've had a very quick go just to make sure this thing works, and it is quirky to say the least. So. Uh, here's the main menu. Now one of the things that is very weird that you can't see in the recording is that this is running in a window. A bordered window. Um, there is no options or anything to change that. It's just that's how it works. You go into the options menu, there's literally just difficulty settings, uh, turn times, watch player one, settings, sound and the menu sound and that's it. Nothing else. That noise is so annoying as well, but anyway. So, yeah, um, yeah. It does seem to have a single player mode. Uh, don't know what this hot seat mode is. Uh, I think hot seat is a multiplayer, but on the same machine. Multiplayer across the LAN, and then multiplayer on Steam. Um, let's just go on single player. And now this is where it gets weird. You have your classic tic-tac-toe, or as this in the UK, know it as noughts and crosses. Uh, you have your standard grid, and you just basically fill them in, noughts and crosses, until one of you wins like that. I just lost that one. Oh dear. So that is what they're calling classic. But then there is ultimate. Let's forget. I don't understand this one, to be honest, but anyway. There is ultimate. Now, this is where it gets confusing. Here you have a big grid. Okay. You've got to get your lines in each one of these. So, okay. If you complete and win one of these squares, you get given the square on the large grid. So look, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. The idea is, is to win the big grid of Cross and crosses or tic tac toe by winning the small ones. Confusing enough, but then also there's another twist. Say I place a point here in the middle. The opponent is forced to do any of the squared squares in this middle one. They cannot go anywhere else. Okay? If my opponent put one there, then I must continue the game in this square here. Get it? So if I want to play tactically and I'm on this one here and I re I know that if the opponent went to here um, you know they could win but they can't if they go here well I'd be forced to basically choose this one send them up there to do something hoping I can make my way back to this one to block it. Sounds confusing enough. Let's just try playing one. So I'm going to start off uh, in the middle there. So they played top left, which has forced me to go to this top left square, which I'll take the middle on that one. Bottom left, okay, I'll take out the middle of that one. Right, they've already won one there, but I'm forced to go into this grid here. I think, if I'm correct, yeah. So I will take the middle there as well. Now I think if a grid's, if a square's gone, then they get free range of where they go to. So I must bear that in mind. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm giving him free range at the moment to go wherever he wants, which is a bit of a problem. So I'll go bottom middle there. That's right. I've claimed that square there. He's claimed that one. So, I need to keep him away from this bottom one, but try and get myself in on it at the same time. So, um, hmm. Let's send him to this right hand side. He's played bottom left, which gives me free pick. So, I'm going to send him down to that right hand side again. Mm. In the middle. He sent me down to the bottom here. I really don't want to send him to that bottom. Sugar. Send top right. 
See, see where this is getting a bit more tactical now. At first, I thought this game was broken. It weren't until I read the instructions I understood what the hell was going on. Which was the uh, kind of most important thing for me to do, was to understand what the hell was going on. So I've won that one there. He's won that one. I've stopped him from winning that one. I stopped him from winning that one. Top right. Okay, so oh no, sugar. Keep him up for the top right if I can. He's gone to bottom right. So if I go top middle, he gets free pick where to go, which means he'll win that one most likely. I can block him from winning that one. Oh, he hasn't gone for that. Okay. I've won top right. He's won that. I need to stop him winning that one. But he's won there. Now it's just a straightforward to the death. Norton crosses game. Like so. And we drew. <clears throat> it's weird. But it kind of works. It really gets your head thinking because you can't just go where you want to go. You kind of have to plan ahead. And it makes it a lot harder. But it's fun at the same time. Um, let's just go straight into another game. Vit. I'm going to start off the bottom left. And I'm going to force him to go bottom left as well. So he sent me top right. Okay, so I'm going to go in the middle. So he sent me to right hand side, I'm going to go in the middle again. Uh, hmm. Okay, bottom middle. He sent me middle. So I'll go there to stop that one. He sent me bottom left. Uh, this is not nice. Sit in the middle there. So this whole extra dynamic of you forcing your opponent somewhere else, depending on where you play, brings a new kind of strange context to the game that I am liking. It's just it's a bit a lot more tactical, really. It sounds silly to say over a simple game of noughts and crosses, but you do have to think tactically. Like here we go, he'll take me out there. So he's put me in there. Oh damn it. Where do I really send him? Um, hmm. Top middle. So he sent me top right, which means I can block him there, but I'll lose this one. Unfortunately. Uh, so he's gone top left, but I can win that one. He's went in the middle there. Damn it. Is there anything I can win at the moment? No, there isn't. Uh, is there anything I can block? I can block an instant win there. He's gone top left. Okay, so I'll just block an instant win there. Same there. If I go give him a free pick, is there anything I can screw me, bite me up? Actually, I've got a free pick. Oh, cool. I'll take that one out. Gave him a free pick, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I'll win that grid. He's won that grid. So I need to stop him from winning this one. Uh, let's think. Damn it. There we go. It's a draw. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's different. Let's put it that way. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Only because, I mean, end of the day, it's noughts and crosses. What more is there to say? But, um, yeah, check it out. I say it's free on Steam. Um, under the free to play section 
And um, yeah, I am most likely going to continue playing it for a bit longer. But until next time, I'll see you and uh, have fun. Bye.